What's up guys, my name is Aaron, and I'm going to be reviewing You Were Never Really Here. This movie is written and directed by Lynn Ramsey, and it stars Joaquin Phoenix. It's basically about this hitman who's being tasked with trying to find this teenage girl who's kind of been put into prostitution, and it's kind of exploring what kind of makes him tick, while also kind of doing the typical hitman stuff, but kind of in an abstract and different way. I think... This is one of the most haunting hitman stories ever told. I think it's a very familiar story, like a hired gun or a hired hammer in this case, tasked with finding a teenage girl that's put into prostitution and he has to save her. I think Lynn Ramsey's aversion is to the typical, and she has like a really highly abstract filmmaking, it really makes this feel like a really ultimately personal and kind of unique movie. The movie is very low on dialogue from Joaquin's character Joe, um, kind of focusing on what makes him tick in a kind of abnormal way. Um, the movie uses fragmented flashbacks to traumatizing events like a boy seeing his father abuse his mother or a soldier seeing a ton of abused women to kind of contextualize Joe and try to piece together who he is and what kind of made him the way he is while also still trying to be loose and kind of free in the meantime, you know, not giving too much expectation on him, you know what I mean? These events have pretty much left Joe a pretty empty shell of a man really achingly numb to the violence like he doesn't even really react to anything that he's really doing on a regular basis and to me he only really like emotes in the company of his mother where he's kind of alternating between kind of a playful and hateful like vibe with her um i think those scenes are basically the only levity in this movie but you can see that under the surface that joe is kind of fraught with his predicament and kind of racked and tortured with the reality of his actions and who he is as a person and i think joaquin phoenix is in top form here i think that he always kind of excels as playing these really unhinged men who seemed like a wounded boy at the core, and this is definitely like a heightened version of it. He seemed truly disturbed and scary to me in this movie, and he's just somebody that you would probably walk across the street if you saw him walking towards you, you know what I mean? And even though I don't think Phoenix has the most intimidating frame, he just dominates the screen, and it just seems like a guy that you don't want to mess with in the Hitman scenes. You really get a sense of what makes Joe tick through um, Ramsey's eccentric filmmaking choices, and it makes it a rewarding character study. Also, as just like a thrilling movie. Her playing with the tropes kind of continues to the action shown on screen. Almost all of it is either done like off camera kind of showing like the aftermath of Joe's actions or kind of obscured through weird choices. And this really makes you think of the process of what he does, his work, how personal he is when he, you know, bludgeons somebody to death and it, the ramifications of his action it just kind of puts you in his shoes in a really a really disturbing way that um you just really contextualize what he's doing you know what i mean there's no like stylization or romanticism about the way that he does his things like in john wick or something like that you just feel every single choice joe makes here and it's just really chilling to think about it even like the set piece of the movie which is all shot on like these cctv cameras that you know are kind of for security and um it's really like kind of jerkily and haphazardly edited but also being set to like a 50s pop song it's technically flat to watch but it's just like so gripping because like you're seeing him like bludgeoning people to death but it's like just so weird and the rhythm is so like off you know what I mean but it just works I don't know it's just really kind of creative filmmaking I think I think the music is also phenomenally done too scored by Johnny Greenwood and it's just so unsettling and creepy to me utilizing a lot of different genres that are kind of skeletal in tone that really keep you on the edge of the seat I think it's one of the best scores I've ever heard and mixed with the visuals on screen it's transcending and I also think that Sandy's Necklace is probably the best song on this. Um, I also love that the movie doesn't really try to make a commentary on Joe or like Hitman in general. It just kind of shows the images and kind of lets the viewer attach meaning to whatever they're seeing. There are some things I can see that's deterring about this movie. Like, it's just a really weird movie, really abstract and really kind of different. But that's what I like about it. I think that doing this type of inversion of the tropes really makes this a really unique movie. And... To me, I didn't have any problems with it, and I, like, want to rewatch it right now. So I think overall, I would probably give this, like, a 10 out of 10. I think, to me, this is, like, the first perfect movie of the year, and it's just a movie that I think is going to be so rewarding on, like, future viewings. Like, um, we need to talk about Kevin, um, her last movie, and it just really kind of makes me want to dive into um, Lynn Ramsey's, you know, um, filmography, and this is definitely probably in my top five favorite Joaquin Phoenix movies. 
like his performance wise and that's rare because he's like my favorite actor right now so this is in really high company in my opinion so yeah those are my thoughts on you were never really here what are you guys thoughts did you like it did you hate it let me know in the comments what you thought and thanks for watching thanks guys bye